three tips for how to better integrate work and life. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Future in 5. My name is Jacob Morgan. This is where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. Joined by a very special guest. Uh, we just did a podcast together, and I'm sitting here with Anne Ramondi, who's the SVP of Strategy at Zendesk. Hi, Jacob. And so today we're gonna talk about some tips to manage the work-life integration that we're seeing. So tips to manage your personal life as work and life becomes more integrated. So what, what tips do you have? So the three I have is, the first one is um, share your story, especially with new colleagues, you're joining a new team or your existing team, like make sure people get to know you. Some fun things I've learned about colleagues, one of my colleagues in Dublin hates bananas, so now we can use that to make fun of her. My wife and I love bananas. <laughs> that, that hurts us deeply. Yeah, but I mean, random thing you learn about somebody, but then it just kind of gives you a conversation starter as well as a way to make fun of somebody. Um, second tip I have is remember you're in control of technology. And we all feel like technology controls us. Yes. But I think just that mindset of I'm in control of my technology. I can put my device away if I'm having dinner with the family. Or one of my favorites is I have a no scroll policy on social media. So maybe I see an alert or a tweet or I'm looking for something on Pinterest. I don't let myself scroll. Hmm. I just so you just look at it and whatever you see on the screen is... Yep, and then I'm done. And then I'm done. And you, res you can't... Yeah. No, I don't go down the black hole. What if hole. you want to know what's... Mm, no. Mm -mm, no. Oh, just man. try it. Just try it. It's, it's, I don't always do that, but there's pockets of time where I have the no scroll. It helps so much. I'm going to have to try I've that. Hours of my life. Um, yeah, you can lose hours yeah, of your yeah, life. Yeah, you the can. Well, yeah, so you, you get them back if you don't scroll. Yeah. And then last but not least, and we do that here at Zendesk, it's get out into the community, volunteer, do something, you know, channel your energy somewhere else, and it gives you renewed perspective for work and life and the two together. So, you know, I, on a particular day here is, you know, all the challenges of a work day. I was stressed out about meetings, deadlines, and then spent two hours at St. Anthony's serving lunch. And... All those problems went away. It gives you yeah. perspective. So yeah, that's like an that. important one. Yeah, and so for people that are uh, new to the concept, so the, the shift, maybe we can talk about that for yeah. just 30 seconds, the shift from work-life balance to work-life integration. Yeah. What is that? Well, I feel like when we say balance, it, feel, it seems like you're always making trade-offs, that somehow you're sort of in this fragile position that one's going to drop if you're focusing on the yep. other versus they're together. You're, you should be the same person at work as you are at home, and technology certainly makes that much more prevalent now. And so embracing it and seeing it as an opportunity versus as a constant struggle. Yeah. And we'll yeah. all be more successful and happier. Yeah, and I think we're seeing people, especially here, you probably see that people bring their life more with them to work and yeah. they bring their work more with them to their personal lives. So. Hey, work-life balance isn't gonna happen. This is nine no. to five and then... Mm -hmm. It's not, it's yeah. not. And the sooner we kind of accept that and figure out how the integration works and give ourselves permission to turn off the technology, um, as well as the permission to you know, show our personal selves at work, I think we'll, we'll all like be better for it. Okay, so recap, tip number one was... Tip number one was share your story. Share your story. Yeah, be comfortable sharing your story, both, okay. including pet peeves. Those always mm. go over very so well. So be who you are, be who like you are. inside yeah. and outside yeah. of work. So share your story, be in control of your technology. Okay. That one's going to be hard for some people. Yeah. But that's your challenge. No, apply no scroll once this week. And then third is get out into the community and spend time there. I like it. I like it. And to recognize, I think you said that uh, the emails will be there when you get oh, back. Oh, yeah, they will. <laughs> they the will. They're will. not going anywhere. The company They'll still will be, be in your there. inbox. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. thanks everybody for watching. To get access to more videos, podcasts, and newsletters and other fun stuff, you can visit thefutureorganization.com. And thanks to my very special guest, Anne Ramondi, who's the SVP of strategy at Zendesk. See you next time on an episode of The Future in Five. Hey, are you interested in the future of work? If so, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest content on the future of work and stay up to date on all the latest trends and happenings. Not to mention, you will make me very, very happy. Make sure to subscribe.